Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on reflection. I'm going to give you two examples. The first one is very simple, and the second one you have to do a little tweaking to make it look right. So let's get started. So I just opened a file, and any size will do because we're going to clip it to the picture, and I looked on Pixabay, and I found this car. So I'm going to drag it out. And then I'll say document, clip canvas. And that's what we got right there. I don't need it to be this large for this tutorial. This one is 92 inches. So let's just for this tutorial, let's cut it down to about 11 inches. Now I'm going to change the canvas size. So I'm going to do document, resize canvas. And I could do this two ways. I'll show you two ways. Here's the first way. I can unlock the lock. I want it to be at least double that. So let's say 12. Let's say 12. It's close. And resize. And what it does is it puts it under. But I could have done it a different way. So I'm going to undo that and show you another way. I, and I'll make it further back. And I can just go to the crop tool. And I'm actually revealing. I shouldn't reveal. So I'm going to the crop tool and I can just drag this down to where I may want to keep it. And then I say apply. So either way is a way of changing your canvas. So what I'm trying to do right now is I want to put a reflection on this car. So the car already has a black background and I could try and mask out the whole car by itself. But since we're going to keep a, a black background, I'm just going to mask out the bottom. So let's get a close up. So I'll take the pen tool and I'm just going to mask the bottom out because I don't really need the bottom. So I'm just going to go like that. And how about there? And I'll fix that in a minute. And I'll go here. And looks like it goes up to here because we got to where the tire is here. And then I'm just going to take out the whole bottom section. And now I need to fix it. So I'll hold the pen tool down and go to the node tool. And if I need to fix any of these, I can. Like that. I can move this one in a little bit. And this here needs to come over this way. And I can move this a little bit like that. And I think for this tutorial, this will work out fine. So if I go back to the pen tool, actually, and then I hit selection, uh, I can just now go to my layers palette and then mask. So I can just hit mask. And now I did the opposite on the selection. So let me deselect. And if I hold the mask down and do control or command I, it reverses the mask. So that's really what I want right there. That's perfect. So I also, now that we cut the background out, we want to put another background in place of it. So let me move out a little bit and take the rectangle tool and start here at the bottom and go right to the top and make that color black and move that behind. So it's kind of where we started. So now we're going to take this car and we're going to duplicate it, control or command J, and we're going to arrange, flip vertically, and move it down. And we really should have this, this layer underneath that one. I'm just gonna shift it down. And now we move it to where we think it should be in place. And that looks pretty good. But of course, it doesn't look realistic because a reflection would never be exactly the same. So now what we do is we have to take this. And I think I'm going to rasterize this one first just to make it easier. So I'm right clicking and I'm saying rasterize and trim. So now there's no longer a mask on that because I want to add another mask to that. And I'm going to take that mask and go to the gradient tool. And I'm just going to draw a line down here the middle and if I click up here I have to change the colors so for example on a mask black disappears 
and white appears. So now we can decide by dragging this how much of that car we want to show. Another way of doing it though is we can go to the mask again and instead let's do a gradient again and we drag like this and once again I want to do black to white so this one's going to be black and that side's going to be white but now we can drag this to show and we have it opposite here that was a mistake the white should be on top the black should be on the bottom so we can decide how much of that reflection by dragging it this way that we want to show we can even do a little less like that and I think that looks pretty good so let's just go like that and there you go so that, that's how you get a reflection on a car now there was there might be some issues you might run into for example I just did another one and it was a wine bottle and I took this wine bottle and the wine bottle has been completely cut out. And I'll show you everything that I have there. And I just put a gradient in the background so the wine bottle's cut out. If you take that wine bottle and duplicate it, and then say arrange flip vertically, the problem is that the wine bottle base does not meet up correctly. So if you take a close up, what the problem is there before we even do the um, the gradient what we have to do is now let's move this up like here where you think it would be close enough and then we will go to the mesh warp tool and I kind of would bring it down like that and I think that works pretty good and so that they meet and I'll say apply see how they meet now so let's go back and then you could take that and do a mask and do a gradient on that mask. And we'll take the, the gradient again and we'll go like this. And once again, we have to change the black and white. So let's do this one. I think it should be black. No, well, I'm doing it wrong again. That one should be white and this one should be black and then we can move this up to where we feel the gradient should be we can even move the middle and see that like that and you might want to do one more thing like i'll get a close-up here you might want to add another layer right below or another pixel layer right below the top bottle and take black a soft brush make the brush very soft and maybe even lower the opacity a little bit and then take a black brush and kind of go like this something to that effect and then we can go here and do effects gaussian blur bring it very blurry like that and you can change the opacity or anything else but now if you look it back you would see that normally you would have a little bit of a shadow on top of whatever it's reflecting on assuming that the light is going straight down of course if the light is going a little differently um, trying to look maybe the lights going this way a little so maybe that reflection should kind of be a little bit like that and you can play with it. So that's it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day.